Now that I've created my blog, I'd like to set it up so that it runs well for me. I've come to the settings tab found on my blog dashboard and you see that a number of other settings um, tabs have opened up on the left hand pane. We'll go through a few of these together. So from my basic settings, what I can do towards the bottom is invite other users to be an author on this blog. This is important because we want our learners to publish their work and have first-hand communication with experts. To do so, it's just like using a Google Doc, Sheet, or Slide. I'll click Add Author, go ahead and place their Google Apps for Ed username there. So in this case, it would be student uh, first name, underscore student last name, at pequayvalley.net and when I'm ready to do that I'll go ahead and hit invite authors once I've invited the authors they will receive an email to this address in which they'll have to click the accept link once they do they'll show up in this top pane with you as an author and they'll be able to make posts and pages just like you can I don't want to do that now, so I'll go ahead and cancel that out. But the first step would be to invite some blog authors to your blog. Next, I can set the posts, comments, and sharing settings. So a couple things to keep in mind. Your blog is a public website. However, you can control who does and does not have the ability to comment on that blog. So right now, registered users, that are those are people that log in with any Google um, username, can go ahead and comment on this blog. That is both a good and a bad thing. It's good because we want people to come to our blog and leave comments. However, we don't just want any random Joe Schmo to make comments that we don't want our learners to see. I'll show you in a few minutes how you can control those comments. You can go ahead and make this more open, anyone. That allows people to be anonymous. That means they don't have to sign into Google at all to make a comment. You can do users with a Google account, which is very similar to registered users. Or you can do only members of this blog. That's the most closed. So any author or administrator of the blog can go ahead and post. I'll leave that as a registered user and I'll come down to comment moderation. Here's where I, as the admin, have the ability to monitor comments that are made. The default is set to never. I'm going to set it to always. And I'm going to go ahead and say that these email moder or every time a comment is made, an email will come to Ryan underscore Donnelly at peckwayvalley.org. That can be a different uh, email address other than the one that you started the blog with. So you're fine there if you put in your work email instead of your Google Apps for Ed. That's up to you. So every time a comment is made, I will get an email and it will let me know that there is a new comment. I'll show you in a subsequent video how you can moderate those comments. Um, and how you can delete those comments if you'd like to save those settings. I'll go to email and you can see here um, I can comment notification email. Um, I can also get that at a subsequent address and again I want that to come to my .org account as well. Go ahead and save that setting there. If you want posts to be emailed to you, you can add a post, uh, an email here. Every time a post is made, you will get an email saying one of your learners went ahead and made a post. That's up to you whether you'd like to do that or not, or if you'd like to just visit the blog. So those are a couple of the settings that you may want to set in your blog to ensure security as well as stay up to date on the content that is at the blog. I hope that this tutorial on some of the basic settings that you may want to take a look at were helpful.
and thanks for watching.